Hey, my name is Landon Chapman. Uh, we're here in Wasilla, Alaska, and this is my shop, Semper Sharp. Um, today we're going to go over the equipment that I use to sharpen knives and how WorkSharp has created something very similar on a smaller scale. So um, when I sharpen a knife, I go through a progression of three belts. I start off at 220, and then I go to a structured belt, um, which is an A65, and then my last belt is a leather, leather belt. And so what you're doing is you're grinding in the edge and then you're polishing the edge and it takes uh, like microscopic serrations out of the blade if you polish the edge. Our, uh, my knife grinder here is a three-phase motor and I have a variable speed control here. So if I turn it up, it'll go faster or I can turn it down to go very slow if I don't feel comfortable. I was glad to see that WorkSharp had included that. Um, you can crank it up fast if you're really comfortable with it, but if you're just starting, you can tone it down. And uh, I think that's a really good option to have. I'm gonna cut the edge in here with just a 220 ceramic belt. What you can see if you pay attention to the edge right here is you'll see the burr pop out and you want to get that burr that pops out to go the full length of the blade because then you know that it's uh, completely ground from one side to the other. You see that burr popping out right there on the, on the edge. That's important to note whether you're using a big tool like this or the small one, smaller version on the work chart. So now that I got the burr going the full distance, I'm going to switch over to a 600 grit structured belt. You see that this belt is structured and it doesn't have any grit like a normal, like a normal belt does. So these are also ceramic belts, but they have grit. And when you're using smooth belts like this, it allows your edge to polish uh, more highly, and which makes the knife sharper and hold the edge for longer. The work, sharp, work Sharp is just using a miniature version of these belts on their, on their systems. See that burr there? See it come through on the other side too. One more belt to go and this thing will be sharp. So this is a leather belt. WorkSharp doesn't use one of these, but they do use a higher grit of the structured belt, which I think kind of does the exact same thing. Um, We'll find out when we get down to that belt, but I think you're going to get the same result whether it's leather or just a really high grit of a structured belt. Now this belt is going to take that burr off. So you'll see the burr and this belt's going to take that off. Now you can see that edge is starting to polish up. Should we test it? That's what we're going for. So you can see that this is going to be kind of like very similar to the same setup as our big belt grinder. So this is the same thing here. We're going in with the structured ceramic belts, the same grits as what I was using over there. So now we're going to sharpen a knife that we make um, using the Ken Onion Edition. 
and I'm going to do it the exact same way as we used our big belt grinder, just on a smaller scale. See that burr popping out right now. All right, I got the burr going the full length. Now I'm going to switch belts. Each belt's going to wear a little bit differently, and it's nice having this tracking right here that we can center the belt right onto the, onto the wheels up here. And you can also mess with the speed like we did on mine. The big one over there, you can turn it up high, low, or wherever you feel comfortable. I'm going to switch that over to the last grit now. Starting to polish. Very nice. So this is kind of like, this is the belt where I would use leather, but this is very smooth. It's not going to, all it's doing is cleaning that burr and polishing the edge. that. You can see it really polishes that edge nicely, almost to a mirror finish. Same test as before. We're shaving. Good stuff. So now we're going to go over the new Mark II. This was just released April 1st. Um, they've made some changes to it that we like a lot. Uh, one being these leather guards that are going to protect your blade from being scratched. Um, another is that we can set the angle here um, for kitchen knives at 20 degrees or kind of like outdoor hunting knives at 25 degrees. Um, and then you can change it just by moving here. So my tip would be that a lot of times you don't have to go all the way through the, all of these belt progressions. So where this is really it, it's a it's like really abrasive and that's great for but you don't if you're just sharpening a kitchen knife you don't need to use something like this a lot of times you could come back to the, just the strop and and just retouch up the edge on this kind of like how when you when you see barbers they'll have that leather strop and they'll run the razor down it well that's keeping the razor sharp all day long so if you take care of your edge with the higher grit belts then you won't have to go back to the lower grit belts and restructure the edges Today we have a uh, hunting knife that we're going to do, and so we'll be using it on the 25 degree. And they also use the, belt, the same belt progression as what we had over here. It's the same three belts, uh, the same as what we use on the big grinder, as the Ken Onion uses, and then as the M2 uses. So just like the Ken Onion, you can lock your spring down for uh, ease of loading the belt. You run your belt right along here, and then you, when you release the tension, the belt is on. I'm going to use this hunting knife. This is another one we make called the Honey Badger. If you don't feel like shaving all the hair on your arms off, you can just... Uh, That's what we're looking for. So this is the Ken Onion without the attachment, and this has uh, the same options to set your the degrees 
of each angle. Um, the steeper the angle is going to be like an axe or a hatchet. You know, those are going to be like your 30 to 40 degree angles where 15 is probably going to be chef knives or really, really like things that you need to be like scalpel sharp. So my tip would be that you should always use uh, sharp belts and a lot of people will try to stretch out and make a belt last for a really long time. When you do that, the grit wears off of it and it's not really doing anything except heating up the edge of your knife. So if you should be really cautious about how much pressure you're pushing down onto the belt and then always using sharp belts and you, you just want to not overheat that edge because it can ruin the temper. I think for someone that's using this to keep their hunting knives and their kitchen knives sharp, it's, it, it works great.